What is up everyone, my name is Exceptional and today I want to show you the best Lucario build in Pokemon Unite. Lucario is a monster in the early game and if you play him correctly, you can snowball and dominate the game from the start. I want to show you guys a high rank game and the build I am using so you can do better with Lucario as well. The items I am using are the muscle band for the increase in attack and attack speed, the floatstone for more movement speed and extra attack and the special attack specs to get more special attack with every dunk. So now I just want to talk about this game in the background and how this build helps Lucario. Also I made some great decisions that definitely won us the game. So let's get into it. So we just start out to uh farm the bot lane as fast as possible. We got a Cinderace next to us, so that's a pretty decent combo. We have some range next to us, and we also, of course, have Lucario. Lucario does a lot of damage, so I can just be frontline. We're gonna take that, so the enemy can take it. Uh, Lucario is very good, very good early game. He has a lot of mobility with the dash attack and the meteor mash. Um, yeah, so... Be very, very aggressive in the early game if you can. If there is a chance, just go for it. Lucario is definitely very good in the early game. So, you know, try to set yourself up for a good end and mid game. We have another Lucario there as well. And a Zero Aura coming. This is something we do not want to take just yet. They're a level above. So, for now, just, just check in what's going on. Staying in this bush. We have like four seconds still. No, new Corpish spawns on the left side and the bees in the middle. So let's uh, let's see what happens. His auto attacks are not the greatest, and Snorlax is not the biggest problem. You can see you can just dash out of out of there immediately. We got a Haunter coming, and this will actually be a team fight we can take. I am a little bit too overextended, and I will be punished, but that's okay. I would always advise if you are Lucario, just go in it. And try to get kills. If you can snowball with Lucario, you are a problem. Because you are you are basically like a very mobile and very strong tank. Because you can fight. Your passive gives you a shield if you're low HP. So you can survive very, very long. And your abilities do a lot of damage. Also, for the people who do not know, his boosted attack, if, if you hit the third attack, you knock up. And it's actually AoE attack, so you knock up multiple enemies if they're close. Of course, we're challenging for this po wild Pokemon. I see my teammate going down. I pushed him away, and I'm just going to regroup. Because we already died once, it's not worth it to go in there and, you know, might be able, yeah, might, might be able to die there, and you probably lose your first base. So we just try to hold here. And we'll just wait and see what happens. So far, you, you might think, ah, oh, this is not looking too good. But in these high rank games, you just have to figure out what the enemy is doing and how you can adjust. Especially with Lucario, you can, you have so much prior, you're so strong, you're so tanky. Let's just see what we can do here. The other Lucario is two levels ahead, so I have to be careful, he will smack me. But we are two here, Snorlax is coming, and he barely died there as well. Top is doing all right so far. But yeah, if you look at the items, um, there's a lot of attack speed. The attack speed is basically just for your boosted attack. So you can, the the, the more times you can take a, use your boosted attack, the more times you'll probably win team fights. It's very annoying. Some extra movement speed as well, just to get close to them and uh, take it, take, take, take them down, knock them up in the air. Let's take Dreadnought. Lucario does good damage on Dreadnought, especially with his ability. We have Bone Rush and the Punch right now. The streaming thing is <laughs> is covering us. I do not know what the real name is, but we all know. I think it's the Rush Punch or something. Anyway, um, let's continue and let's just farm a bit. We were behind a little bit, but because of Dreadnought, we are back into the game. Trying to take this little berry so we can maybe go behind them and get an easy kill this bot lane is pretty static right now jumping on nine tails got the kill and now we got a dunk this is very important for you because you have these special attack specs this will give you extra special attack for every dunk so i just go in and dunk once more at least i thought i was but gengar already had it let's take rotom bottom lane i'm leaving bottom lane right now just because bottom lane is kind of they're drawing a little bit and I see they have three in the bottom lane so they will probably take something bottom but we took a lot top 
So it is a wor it's worth it. Right now I'm I'm thinking about should I go bottom and probably die if I take that theme fight or should I just farm, level up, get some points and see what we do. The slow boy doesn't know I'm here. I'm going to dash out of here cuz I don't know I do not want to take the team fight. But I see Snorlax go up and I can dunk 23 points easily. Good for my spec points and my XP. Be the best thing to do in these high rank games is just observe a bit on the map what's going on there's a team fight going on we already have one down i don't think it's worth to go in there right now um so let's just try and farm a bit get some points because hey, the thing is a lot of people in rank try to kill everyone and just go in and fight every fight but you don't win the game if you fight every fight you win the game if you have enough points so points is still the best thing to do. I see Lucario weak. Try to dash into him. He's trying to escape, but that won't work. Lucario is very good for uh, chasing. He's impossible to get away from. Let's see if I can dunk, but the Sarah Aura and Snorlax are here. So this will probably be the end of me. But, of course, Lucario is fast. He has two very, very good escape abilities. The dash is just a dash. But with the Bone Rush, you actually have a very cool mechanic. You can actually bamboozle a lot of people with it. If you throw your Bone Rush and you press R2 again, or ZR, whatever you want to call it, you're going to teleport to the Bone. But you can also, if you're getting chased by, just throw it like to the right side, go to the left side, see if they chase you. If they chase you, you press it again and you're out of the fight. Look, another 27 points because they are having like a big team fight underneath and it isn't that necessary for me to be there i'm just trying to win this game it is ranked i want to win games and winning games is the most important thing right i think i can do top uh, rotom just because i see two down i saw two dead in a, a few seconds ago so i might be very safe here to do it uh i uh, i do have my unite move for if there is a an enemy Come and steal it. I might be able to, to do it. I see a slow bro on the map. But I have enough damage to do this. Now you can do two things. You can actually try to help Rotom. And get him to the point. So he can get easy dunks. But this is what usually happens. As you can see. Okay. Do we get away? Yes we do get away. The thing is with Rotom, they have to send one top. They do have to. So now you can take a team fight and you have the team advantage. Jump in there, do a lot of damage with the, with the dash. Snorlax is a little bit annoying. Maybe we can dunk here. Sneaky dunk. No, not. Nine tails is here. This is not a fight you want to take, especially on their goal. So we're getting out. But we're wasting their time, you know. We, having, we are having the priority right now. We are deciding what's going on. You see Slowbro is still busy with Rotom. So that's very good for us. At the meantime, at the meanwhile, while we were fighting bottom, we got Dreadnought. So that's even better for us. So we're we're winning this game just by macro decision making. Right now, I'm not trying to take too many team fights. This is a fight I have to take. He comes to me and uh, my Slowbro is here as well. He backs off, so we go back. Right now, we are ahead, so Zapdos is not needed. Keep that in mind. Of course, you want Zapdos, but the most important thing to do right now is to not lose Zapdos for nothing. So, let's uh, just farm up a bit. Keep the mind, uh, keep the map in mind and just check, check what's going on. I still have 50 points, so I obviously can dunk 100. So, we have that still. So, that might be the play here. Let's see if we can dunk top. If they see me dunk, they have to send someone. This could just be the win. Everybody's in the middle. Sablos is still good. I'm dunking. That's an easy 100 points while they're just... They're just walking around each other having like this half team fight. This is the play to make. I'm, I'm coming behind them. Try to ult. Let's try to get a team fight going on. I'm very strong. Level 14. The Lucario is so, uh, very, very strong. I'm taking their Lucario right now. They have three dead. We have one dead. The Zapdos is half health. I still don't want to take Zapdos. I'd much rather have him recharge health. But if they want to take it, they'll take it. I'll just defend here and keep them off. 
just to make sure they do not take it because that's basically the only way they can win this game so i'm just gonna go full on the slow bro we just took septos you can do two things you can take that fight with zero aura but why would you i got 50 points that's 100 points so i'm just bone rush dash dunk doesn't matter what happens here this game is very much in the books I'm trying to get away because you know why not why should i die here and that is basically it this is like a prime example with lucari you're so strong you're so fast every fight you take you're basically you basically have the upper hand especially if you are a higher level so go around the map play the lane lane phase in the early game after that just go around the map dunk and just make your presence felt that is 280 points that is more than the whole enemy team and this is how you win ranked games I hope you enjoyed this video or found it helpful and if you did don't forget to drop a like it will help me out a lot and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing for more pokemon unite videos also i stream on twitch regularly so come follow me there the link is in the description and i will see you in the next video